After a few rough days of an April winter storm, many of us here in Toronto are finally enjoying the warm weather. It's no secret that the city is sometimes susceptible to unseasonable weather now and then. And because of this, there's heat on the city to make changes to a bylaw. Some say it's confusing. There's a lot of elderly people in our in our building, so those are the ones that I'm probably most concerned about. That was back in 2017, unbearable temperatures across Toronto and just days before fall. Yet some landlords reportedly cut the AC and turned on the heat. As a city heat bylaw took effect, mandating landlords to maintain temps at 21 degrees in units. Our bylaw isn't good enough. It's confusing. Uh, it doesn't do the job well. If it was doing the job, we wouldn't have this crisis every single season. Tomorrow, the city's licensing and standards committee will be accepting a report on mitigating impacts of extreme heat in apartment buildings. Recommendations include creating a working group that would identify how to address these challenges and to make amendments to the heat bylaw and how it's communicated to landlords. That report says only 6% of apartment buildings in the city reportedly have air conditioning. Councillor Jim Karagiannis, who is the vice chair of the committee, says the goal tomorrow is to pass these recommendations unanimously. we got to make sure that the rental buildings are able to uh, step up and provide either heating or cooling for their tenants. Uh, we also have to make sure that we assist them in retrofitting themselves and allow them to retrofit. Every time that I've gone to the City of Toronto asking them for support to revise the bylaw, um, candidly I've seen feet drag and that's not good enough. Just last week, Councilor Josh Mallow introduced a separate emergency motion that is before Council for debate. Among the recommendations, that heat alert days be established, meaning landlords would be directed to either turn the heat off or turn the AC on to ensure the temperature in the units are reasonable, and to also encourage buildings to allow for safe window openings and to make revisions to the heat bylaw. What I really believe we should do is make sure that there is a standard where we don't allow apartment uh, buildings to go over a certain uh, temperature and if they do landlords need to do something about it. We need to make sure that we work with the bureaucrats in order to make things and we make the changes. Uh, changes need to happen fast and they, we don't need to wait that long. We did reach out to Mayor John Tory's office about tomorrow's meeting. Part of a statement reads quote Mayor Tory understands the frustrations many tenants experience when it comes to the temperatures of their unit and the recommendations if approved by committee and council would also ensure tougher penalties for landlords who are caught breaking existing rules, end quote. That fine, by the way, will increase from $5,000 to $100,000. For City News, I'm Faisal Amin.